Hello, hello, and welcome back to Transport Fever 2, where we're playing in a small map called the Marlin Bundle. It's an island map. You can go back to the first video and you can see all the things that we did. Now, vehicles report having problems. Tram 2 has some issues. We will check and see what the issues are. Lines report having problems. North Allerton has some problems. We will check out what both of these issues are. I am not sure how we are going to do that. So let's go down to North Allerton's line. What is the issue? It seems as if the line is just cut in the middle. Is it because this one doesn't have the elec- Oh, that was dumb. That was extremely, extremely profoundly dumb. That should not have happened. Yet it did. Makes you wonder about life, doesn't it? Doesn't actually. Makes me wonder about my decisions I made. Also doesn't. But let's have a look at how North Allerton is doing. Not this specific residential building, but all of it. Well, it grew a little bit. Pollution is I mean, it's mediocre. It's at 20. I, I, I don't know how to make this better. I think this is really good. And the target population is 100 in the initial size. Oh, this was the initial size of North Allerton. So it says that we've grown by 127 residents. So the total is now 243. Uh, right. The number of residents is stable. So, okay. Okay. Nothing to do here. But we must get back to our mission, which is to supply Stamford with some goods. So let's dive into that. So let's go here and let's see where we have a goods factory. I, I, I thought I saw something close to Stamford. Right, right, yes. Oh yeah, that was the, that was the one we needed to connect via ship. That is okay, I guess. I guess. Although from here we might need to ship it again. Hmm. Let's think about that. Now the oil, the plastic is something that I need from here. And for that I need crude to go from here. Is there another oil refinery that I could take the crude to? Looking at all of this it makes me think that I want to do the machines first because that doesn't seem to be as much of a struggle it's just bring this no it's bring this over here bring this over here get this to somewhere over here and we're already making planks so we get the planks we get another line to feed the planks here and voila we're done <sighs> So once we get that set up, actually, I can just increase the capacity of this to this, which means I can get this up there and we already have a fuel producing here. So we can. All right. All right. So that's the route we're going to follow. We're going to first do the steel. And then after that, we're going to do the, the thingamajig, the goods. Right. So let's get into doing the steel. So let's go down to buildings. And yes, we have this. I don't need tram tracks over here. And I hope you guys didn't see my main menu. There's nothing to hide there, but that was stupid. So we go down here. That's one. The next one needs to come up from. Well, actually, I've got two. I've got one there and one there. I think this is closer. So we're going to go down to this. My frames are dropping a little bit. Why is that? Do I? What am I doing? What am I doing? Why are my frames dropping? They shouldn't, but they are. And this, this comes down here and I need one to take me from here. To go to the factory, where is, which is here, yes which is here. Now for the factory, I'm going to have 
I need the planks to come in, I need the steel to come in, and I need the the cogs, the machines to go out. So let's get three here. Right? One, two, three. So that's two. Hmm. Oh, I have one platform there. All right. So let's get all three on one side. Yeah. Let's get all three on the same side. So that's good. Uh, over here, where was that? Over here at the plant, I need three here as well. So I am quickly going to go into cargo and drop down a couple of these. So as you can see, it seems like I can merge passenger stations with the cargo stations, which is fine, which is amazing. I mean, these are the improvements that they made from Transport Fever 1 or just Transport Fever, which is how they call it, which are amazing improvements. They're really good improvements. Oh, we have a new bus. It's a man again. Yay. Right. So we have a depot here with which we need to let's do the lines first so we get the first line which is coal one coal one coal one which is not going to be this color it's going to be this color for god knows what reason goes from here to here right and then let's get another line which is going to be iron one, iron one, which actually I'm going to stop bothering with the colors, but let's just have this over here, goes from here to here. And then I need one more line, which is going to go from here to here. And it's going to be this color again because I just want to make all the colors the same. And then let's get one more line, which, hmm, what was that? Planks. So let's call it planks two, which is, where are you planks two? Where did you vanish to? Eh, poetry. Planks two which needs to go from, was that a sawmill or what was it? That was a sawmill, wasn't it? Right, so it goes from here to here. Let's just hope I've done that right. So this collects planks from here and it drops the planks off over here, right? What is this? What are you? Disable all of them. No, I didn't. Hmm. This just needs, let's, let's quickly get this done so that I can figure this out because I've done a lot of things together, which I didn't intend to. So let's get this to terminal two. Okay. And let's quickly get 10 trucks to do the planks. By vehicles, which one are we doing? Let's do the man. Can we do one that's special? No, let's just do this. Let's do 10. That are this color, which are going to go on Planks one, planks, why is it planks two? Oh, we have, that was called tools one, wasn't it? Yeah, right. So the next one that we want is from here. Do you have a line? You have coal one connected. This was the line which I wanted to paint a different color. Paint back this, right? So click here, buy vehicles, get the man. Let's get 10 and buy them, change their color really quick and put them on coal one. Right, so coal is taken care of. Uh, the next one was the iron one, 
Right. So which which one did which one got named line one? I don't know. So let's get ten. Again the same thing. Are we running out of money? I don't think so. Let's put them on iron one. Right. So we're getting iron here. We're getting planks down here. So that means this is line one. So this was actually is to be called. What was it? Steel. Was it? Not steel. Steel. Oh, we have to call it one. To die. So steel one. And let's get 10 of those into steel one as well. 10. Now I am not, I have not min max this because my, our first priority is to connect this. Now let me explain what I mean by I have not min max this. So as you can see here, this produces one coal. Over here, we need two of this and two of this to come in, which means for every 10 trucks which go in, five trucks are supposed to come out, right? So technically I should have 10 trucks going from here to here, but only five coming out. I didn't do that because the distances that they cover is different. Which means this is not optimized. So a good way to optimize would be to do it initially. Just do the calculation and then optimize. Or another way to do that would be to let it run for a little bit see where the delay is and then match the delay. So when you come down to the line, the, the numbers here, you'll be able to see where what is lagging and you can just add more trucks to it. That's an easier way of doing things, which I mean, just makes sense. A lot of people would prefer to do it that way because the trucks are going through the road. So you can't calculate every single stop or every single pause that they do. Now we might think that we're done here, but we're actually not done so. Because we're managing to produce the machines, but we're not taking the machines down here. Which is why this with three platforms is not being completely utilized. So let's quickly go down here and see where we need to have our drop off point. Right, so this is where we have the first drop off point, which is kind of fine, it covers everything, but I would like to have a drop off point here, which is much more, which is much closer. And it seems like we could actually let's put it down here. No, oh, here. That's good. I normally rename these as well, I rename the stops as well because. It's just much better, you know, when you have a bigger map that you're playing on, renaming your stops really helps. It really, really helps. So let's go down to this. And did we do the load offload for the other lines? I don't think we did. So we have to do that. Load. Unload over here. Right, right, right. Close this. Go here. Buy us some vehicles. Let's buy 10 again. It's another 4 million. None of this is down the drain. All of this is investments. Line 1, because we haven't named it yet. And we are going to name it what? We are going to name it Machines 1. Machines won. Second time for the win. So let's go down to the lines and food one. This is all taken care of. Let's go to coal one. Yes, we don't have this set up over here. So let's pick up some coal and let's drop off some coal as well. Right. And let's look at uh, iron one. Right, iron one. Let's pick up some iron. And let's get rid of some iron as well. 
and then we've got what else do we need iron there was steel right there was one was steel steel one where we pick up some steel and we drop off some steel now people don't necessarily need to do this i mean this is just something i do but you can just have them pick anything you want as long as it's not going into a particular platform which has multiple products it's not really going to matter if it has multiple products and where you're dropping off there are multiple products that you drop off where it could possibly accept this then yes there will be an issue but otherwise there's there's like a lot of different variables which you actually control which will tell the system what to pick up and what not to pick up and you know what what needs to be sent where so that's not an issue at all right brilliant so we've connected most of everything on the map uh we are getting all the goods that shipshin needs we are getting all the goods that north allerton needs which by the way how are you doing your pollution's up to 30% again why in god's name is your pollution up to 30% i thought i just fixed your north allerton you are ruining yourselves little buddy but it's growing pretty well actually let's see the cities that's not it this one's it uh the first day when i showed this i made a mistake i arranged it in descending order and claimed that it was an ascending order or rather i arranged it in ascending and then claimed that it was in descending but yes now we can actually see which has the maximum population north allerton has the maximum population followed by shipshin shonshaw followed by stamford Stamford still needs cargo. Once we get cargo in, it will start growing much better. You can see that as we grow, our emissions are increasing. Pollution is increasing, which is a very interesting mechanic in this game. Pollution makes it less desirable for people to settle down in a city. No matter how many products you supply to that city, uh people will not prefer to move there when there's pollution. Yeah. So since this is a smaller map that plays a very small role in the decisions we are making and how the game is played but if you were in a bigger map it would make much better sense for you to direct how the city grows has a farm grown seems like the farm's grown but we don't know do we we don't know right so there's just two things remaining for us to do uh, one is to reach cargo goods or just goods as they call it in this game to stamford and the second thing is to actually we've already done the connection the passenger connection between stamford and shipshin shop So one thing which we could do is we could have a train that goes from Shipshin to North Allerton a train or a plane hmm which could be interesting although i could build a train which goes from Shipshin to North Allerton and we could have a plane do the cargo for us because cargo planes are a thing in this game which is much much more interesting although the map is really small it look really weird because the plane has to reach its flying altitude so it'll go outside the map pretty often but i guess we have to do it shouldn't be so coming up in the next episode we will be building a train connecting shipshin to north allerton and we will be building planes which will fly goods into stamford pretty modern actually stamford's going to be like a like a logistics hub you know it's it's got a road network it's got a cargo drop off point i mean everybody's got a cargo drop off point but it's got like a bus terminus it's got a tram that's going inside we should have put our headquarters there 
although you could say the same about shipshin too so that's where our headquarters are which by the way let's have a look at how we're doing how are we doing this is the most run down building i've ever seen with the worst worst marketing department look at that billboard what is this bathtub is that like a trough for horses to drink out of this is the saddest looking house that i've ever seen like it's like one of those houses you see in the swamps in red dead redemption 2 that you shouldn't go into cuz some shit's going to be going down if you go in there but yes on that note and those lofty goals uh let's put a quick cut in this video uh thank you for watching please subscribe if you like it it encourages me and wait for us to connect everything with the magic of air transport take care now bye bye then